from One Pip Wonder and today I'm going to be reviewing Broken Tokens, Organizer, and Crate for Spirit Island. So we received our crate with the Jagged Earth expansion for Spirit Island over um, this past year and so we finally got it all together and we've been using it with our plays over the winter. So I thought it would be a good time to give you a little review and feedback on this product. As far as the assembly, it looked really easy. I didn't do any of it though. I think it took him a week or two to assemble the inserts but also assemble the entire crate. And he did end up staining it. I think it turned out gorgeous. From what I gathered, it wasn't too labor intensive. Daniel is pretty sk skilled at um, woodworking. He, he does have like a, a workshop and he, he's used to building things. So I think in his mind, it was easy peasy. Like he didn't use glue for all the pieces because they just snapped together really nicely and were really tight and snug in the initial build. So from what I understand, it's pretty simple as far as assembly. The design of the organizer was very well thought out. Everything fits together just right and there is a place for every single component in this game. When you take the box apart and you pull the little organization boxes, um, everything's divided in half. So if you're playing two player, it makes it up super easy. There's half the Dohan are in one container and there's another Dohan container for the other person. And I, I just really enjoy that part of it. It would be easy for a larger game too because you can just, you know, divide half the table and everyone will have the pieces they need at hand. My favorite part of the organizer is the way they did the fear tokens because there is a little box with a sliding lid that's kind of locks into place. And when you're playing the game, there is a little compartment for used and unused fear that you just flip around. And it, I don't know, it just makes collecting fear a little bit more fun. The organizer is about $45 and the crate itself is $60. If you buy them together, it's $105. So you save a little bit of money when you purchase them together. Um, I think if I had to choose between the two, I would go for the organizer. Uh, that's what really has made playing in Spirit Island so much smoother. The setup and teardown is a lot faster because everything is just at hand. It's all neatly packed away and uh, it just makes it go a lot smoother. I would say that getting everything to go back into the crate takes patience and it is a little tricky. I think the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. Because if, see all the little boxes fit just perfectly together. And if one of them is in the wrong spot, um, or if they're even just like tilted slightly the wrong way on top of each other, the box won't fit back down because it fits like a glove. It's like, right over that stack of, of the organizing the organizer boxes so it's a little fiddly <laughs> it's a little frustrating but it still is something that we really like it just makes the ease of play much higher and it makes the whole game more accessible when you think about playing spirit island you also have this nice thought of all these little intricate boxes that are perfect for all the little pieces. Everything is at hand when you're playing the game and it, it does really elevate the experience of playing Spirit Island. I would say whenever I pick up the crates, it is heavy. You feel the weight of what you're carrying inside this fairly small box if you consider how much it holds. I always pray a little prayer before I pick up the Spirit Island crate because, you know, God forbid, I trip and fall and it goes everywhere, crashing everywhere. I just don't, it would just be awful. So it, it is a little nerve wracking. Daniel, Daniel picks up, he doesn't really worry about it so much, but it does make me nervous. I wish that the box itself was just a little bit huskier, had a little bit more girth to it because it feels very like fragile to me when I pick it up and I also wish it had like handles of some kind. Maybe even just 
maybe not handles, but just like a place for your hand to go when you pick it up so that you have a good, short grasp of it. That's just me. Ultimately, I think it's really cool. It, it keeps all the pieces, the whole game, all the expansions in one simple box, and it's very organized. Spirit Island is a game that Daniel and I play all the time. This is our most played game. And now that we have the Jagged Earth expansion, which fits so wonderfully together, they, the whole thing fits in that box just perfectly. Now that we have all of that, we will be playing this game for years to come. And so we felt like it deserved a little extra, a little extra. We, we did go all out. We don't always do this for our games. Spirit Island is a special circumstance where we, we really um, prioritize this game. We, we like it a lot and we wanted to just, you know, spend a little extra money for the enjoyment of the game. So I'm glad that we did. I know it's not for everybody, um, but if you are a big Spirit Island fan, you would probably like this too. So that's my review. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and I will see you in the next video. the design of the organizer. Favorite part of the organizer. I'm Wamp Hip Wonder and today I'm going to be reviewing the Broken Token Crate and Organization boxes from uh, the really easy. <laughs> Do I have it? Oh my gosh, I have it on the wrong way.